but in terms of lifestyle, I think one thing about my lifestyle I would say is it is is how it hasn't changed, you know. Um, other than cutting things out and you know prophecy praying five times a day, yeah, I'm still a geezer. I never forget once I had a had a guy come up come up to me, a really strange looking fella, and he goes to me, "If you ever leave Islam, mate, I can make you a lot of money. Keep in touch." I remember saying to Hamza, I'm far less likely to be a groomer now than I ever was. You know? Wow. I can't give a woman alcohol. I can't, you can't touch a non mechram You know, you, you, wow. all, all of these things. Where's the grooming in Islam? Whoa. You've refuted <laughs> the entire but that was, EDO. And that, <laughs> <laughs> if in doubt, become Muslim. <laughs> it's not just games. I think you know what's coming next. I'm doing a bit of gaming. Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. I'm joined today with a Brit. That's right, he's white. He did skin to prove it. He's been a Muslim for four years and today whilst playing uh, a game we are going to be discussing his current experiences and, and the likes. Yeah, we'll get into it. Smile to Jana is now on Twitch. Oh, thank you. I'll try not to uh, vanquish a defeat incinerate you in the game. Yeah, I think my main goal is to be not as bad as Ali Dawa. Repent! Repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I'm going for the Mac AMG. Okay, it looks a bit beefier than mine. Is mine all right? Uh, your one looks like it's ready to pick up the local shopping. Uh, yeah, from mine is like, like, like for the kids from school. Oh damn! Let me change it then. Mm. All right. Um, let's be orange. All right. So Jordan, you've been a Muslim for four years. What has been your experience? Uh, well, first of all, how were you before Islam? Yeah, so I wasn't religious, uh, cultural Christian, I guess. I was your Christmas Easter. Is that you in the grass? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought, I you know what? Ah, this is going good. So let me give him a bit of a <laughs> head start. <laughs> <laughs> so I, um, I was a pretty average geezer, YOLO, you know. Um, I was, I worked hard, got my house, got my car, was living for the weekends. Um, yeah, I was happy before, I would say. Um, is that you? Yeah, yeah, I've just taken over you. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. Are those, are, are you able to, are those headphones all right? My what? Let's <laughs> see. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Is, is it, <laughs> wait, is it, are those headphones all right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, you, you could just uh, take off yeah, one take so one we off. can, yeah, yeah, just one, yeah. Yeah, cool. All right. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. better. So yeah, I was, um, like I said, I, I was fairly happy before. It was only really when Islam entered my family. So my cons my sister had converted many years ago. We didn't have a good relationship. We, we didn't even speak. Uh, because my, of uh, acceptance? It, no, it was nothing to do with that, actually. It was long before that. It was way back when we were teens, really. And um, and my my, my sister had a, a daughter, Iman. So, and, I, and she was used to let me see her every weekend. So I was aware I had a niece that was being raised as a Muslim. <laughs> and and it didn't to be honest, I wasn't comfortable with it. Yeah. Um, I I was pretty much um, not a Tommy supporter, but I was subscribed to the thinking that, you know, grooming gangs, terrorism, these aren't particularly things that I want in my country. Mm. Uh, and that's what you see on, on the on the news. So that was my feeling. So I, I kind of thought that there was something not quite right about Islam. So I wanted to start looking into and researching Islam so that I could tell my family that, you know, my, my niece was going to have to cover, be oppressed, meet a man when she's older, not be treated properly. So that was really my motivation in looking into Islam. I would say most British people in this country learn their Islam through the media, which is, you know, is, is Sheikh Tommy, and it's Sheikh Anjum. These are the people you see, unfortunately. Mm. And, and to be honest, I, I never really cared much for religion so I didn't really have any reason I didn't have Muslim friends there was no reason for me to think anything of Islam I didn't really care until it entered my family all right so what made you different then if you didn't care for Islam much 
and you had this kind of impression of Islam um, what what was the kind of uh, what, what brought you into Islam or even close to religion yes I think what happened to me very soon is through looking into Islam for for women uh, so obviously my niece I, I was concerned that my niece was going to be radicalized okay. you know and all sorts of things you know I thought yeah. she's gonna have to cover up I didn't like the idea of that so I wanted to look into why why do women cover why do do Muslim men hit their wives does it say that in the Quran so I started to look into these things and to be honest it hit me fairly soon that my niece was no longer going to be subject to the many of the things I saw girls doing when when I was younger you know she was going to be modest mm. she was gonna have different values so even as a non-Muslim uncle, am I losing badly here? Oh, yeah, yeah. But you're like on the fences and everything. Did, I'm did, just showing you that I can do that and still win. Th this car is, my car's broke. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What was I saying anyway? I can't remember. Uh, you were saying about just uh, researching for so, your so look, uh, as, niece. As a, yeah, as, as an uncle, I was very happy that my niece was Muslim, which was a weird experience for me. You know, being happy that your niece is Muslim because I, I think I looked at it from how I used to treat girls, you know, mm. and Islam seemed a protection for a young girl. So that was really where it was for me. And then I th it got to the point where I started getting a bit obsessed with reading about Islam. I started reading Ooh. more books, getting, you know, I started looking at Speaker's Corner debates. So that was your way in, yeah? It was my way in. And to be honest, I no way went in thinking that I was going to be Muslim and that would have been the last thing I wanted. But something I just couldn't stop. I, I got obsessed with it. So you used to watch Speaker's Corner video, Hyde Park Speaker's Corner, yeah? Yeah. So who, who in particular kind of caught your eye and you were like, oh, this is interesting? So I'll be honest with you, when I first started watching, I remember seeing, I do remember seeing um, Mansour, Mohammed Hijab videos uh, on some of their arguments. And, I, and I, I remember thinking, fantastic. But even though I thought that they were great, it was only really when I saw Hamza. You know Hamza? Yeah. Did I lose? Yeah, that was, yeah, of course. Okay, that was a warm up, yeah? That of course, yeah, yeah, it's and, fine. And the console's still halfway like, on my screen. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's a PS5, That's by the way, yeah? Okay. Yeah, right. Okay. that's right. Let the people know. It's PS5. <laughs> it's a P I can see it. I can see it as I'm playing. <laughs> yeah. It's covering like a quarter <laughs> of the screen. If yeah. I pull it anymore, I think uh, all right, you're ready. Right, right. What did I do wrong there? Have you got any feedback? Um, just. Uh, I didn't. I, you were in the fences. I, I, on, I would on say the... you picked the wrong car. Thank you. I'll give you a Thank head start. Maybe use the brakes more uh, before you turn. Yeah, I think that's what. So it, it was coming up in red to brake. That's when I should brake. Um, you could do, or just slow down. Like I'm not braking. I'm a, I'm a rebel. You see, I don't really. I'm not a conformist. See, your so your your car sounds like a beast. Mine sounds like a lawnmower. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true. It's so true. I don't even know why you picked it against a Mercedes, frankly. Okay. So, so it was Hamza. So you said you you left Hamza to last. So you said Ali Hijab. Yeah, I I tell you what it was. Yeah, uh, and again, it was it wasn't just the Speaker's Corner. I was doing a hell of a lot of reading, and I was also looking at scholar lectures and things like that. But it was when, when for me it was even though I saw Islam was trumping a lot of debates it was changing the way I thought about things it was highlighting things in society that I thought was wrong you know seeing my country going a certain way I thought, wow sort of Islam things? has a solution to many of these things what sort of things so I mean you can talk about alcohol you can talk about interest you can talk about sexual immorality you can talk about drugs all the things that Islam permits uh, so forbids, permits. forbids. Oh, hey, Islam are you yeah, got the wrong one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, even though you know all these things that Islam actually cuts out Going out um, for a lash after Isha. <laughs> <laughs> but if anything, the, the guidance that was given 1400 years ago is more relevant now than it ever was. You know, and that was something that was very, um, I thought was very interesting about Islam. Mm. Um, so then you accepted Islam, yeah? I did. And I just wanted to mention that the Hamza thing was, it was when I saw a white guy arguing for Islam. That was, you know, when I, I saw Mansour, Mohammed Hijab, I still thought it was great what a great religion for people from abroad you know like yeah well that was that was how I thought it was only really when um, when I saw an English guy who was wearing English clothes you know wearing his um, wearing his Reebok classics I don't, I don't actually I don't think he wears Reebok classics 
Yeah, but, it should um, have put you off, to be honest. No. Yeah. It should have I think he book. wears, what do you wear, Lacoste? <laughs> yeah, he's upgraded but, now. Um, but that's, that's interesting, even psychologically as well. I mean, people tend to gravitate towards people that, that, that look like them. It is a psychological thing. Definitely, definitely. And, I, I, you know, it, when, you, when I'm talking about it, it almost sounds kind of like prejudice, but it's not. It's just relatable to you, you know. It's just being relatable to you. It's just basic and, psychology. Um, yeah, I don't think anybody can say, what? That's, that's not right, mate. Yeah. All these white people are the same. There you go, I'm on the grass, yeah? I'm and you're you. on the grass and you're still going faster than me. <laughs> can, you, can you explain what's going it's on here? Mercedes. <laughs> what, 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 so what, what make have I got? Have I got a Skoda or... Um, I think you've got those uh, Dyson... Uh, Dyson d- Dyson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The NQ ones. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. So what? What? So you saw Hamza and you're like, you know what? Okay, so it's made sense to me. Yeah. And now I don't have any excuses. Yeah. And you didn't go to prison. You weren't depressed. None of those things. No, I, I didn't convert for a girl. I didn't. I wasn't. I didn't. I wasn't in prison. All all the things that people suggest. Um, and to be honest, I think there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, I, yeah. I think everyone. You know. This, the, the thing is with, with the statistics about converts is that they're from every background. Yeah. Educated, uneducated, prison, no prison, you know, it, rich, poor, from everywhere. So. What's remarkable is when, when in prison, Islam is a religion that these people choose. I mean, th- th- that's interesting as well. Well, like, I think if you're, the lo- if you're in prison and you're at the lowest point of your life and you're asking questions and things like that, then uh, to me it makes sense why Islam would, um, would then be a time you're asking those questions, isn't it? Mm. You've been to prison? Uh, no. I surprises mean. me. <laughs> <laughs> Shots <laughs> fired? I mean, it's okay, you know, because <laughs> you're losing. You know, it's, it's okay to I'm, character I'm sorry, assassinate I'm, me. I'm cutting the grass well. <laughs> yeah. It's okay it's to uh, character assassinate me. <laughs> uh, okay, so you, you accepted Islam. So what was your family's reaction? Yeah, good point. So, um... So I, I didn't want to tell my mum or anyone around me really. Um, you know, when you tell, and the thing is a lot of it was in my head, but the thing is when you tell people you're Muslim, it isn't like, you know, I'm a Buddhist and everyone thinks, wow, you're really cool and spiritual. You know, when you yeah. say, mum, I'm a Muslim, it's uh, the social be... connotations, you know, is he getting a ticket to Syria and things like that. And my mum didn't think that, but that is sometimes what people can think. They, they're worried about you. Hmm. But I lost again. Come on, can, can I can can change my car. Yeah. <laughs> just, time I can uh, go from a household appliance to an actual <laughs> yeah. racing machine. <laughs> so you're saying your mum didn't think that? She didn't. My mum had already accepted it with my sister. So I, my mum was more upset the fact that I hadn't told her. Um, and it was actually from an Ali Dawa post on his Instagram. That, damn it, Ali. Yeah, that, you know, he, God, it was his fault, it. really. It was his <laughs> fault, so... Yeah. It's Ali being Ali, isn't it? Yeah, I'm sure he planned it. <laughs> yeah. The Mercedes again. For so, me. can I choose the same car? Of course. Just you so can. then I know that if I lose, uh, that it is me. Yeah, so we yeah. take out the variables. Let's do it. Let's do it. Although take I think out I'm the gonna variables. Win. I think I'm going to win. Take win. out the variables. Take out the variables. Take out what you need to take out. I can uh, <laughs> leave the console there. <laughs> 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 All right. So your mum found out, and you said she was. She was more upset that I hadn't told her, um, but my mum, mm. you know, I've got a, a mum she's like cool. most mums, you know, she's, as long as I'm happy and, f- and safe and fine, she's happy with whatever I'm doing. That's, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. I, I, so I think Jay Palfrey, he accepted Islam and his, his mum was similar as well. Okay, my camera angle. Uh, uh, oh, damn. I didn't see what was going on there. Am oh. I winning? Yes. Oh, damn. That was part of the trick. Uh, I couldn't see. I didn't know where the path was. Oh, I just sorry uh, to hear that. All right. It was a mirage, to be honest. Uh, so your sister, who Ooh. who you had a kind of thing with, um, so how? Uh, What's <laughs> going on? So how was how was your relationship with her after you converted? Did she say like, Jordan, yeah, I told you, you so? Yeah. Do you know what we um, we we did? Uh, I remember. I never forget Hamza in his direct way I went to get collect my niece at a market an Islamic market I think in King's Cross I think it was and you know I hadn't spoken to my sister even even as I took my jihada um, hadn't spoken to her but um, yeah we, we did speak 
um, that day, Hamza said, go and speak to your sister now. Because you know, when so many years have passed, mm. it just That's became more very, very hard. So It's amazing. So what, what was the conversation like? It was just a hug and tears. And wow. I think Iman was just confused. You know, mum, why are you crying? It's, uh... But no, it was a, it was a... But to be honest, I've, I've, been, I've been very lucky in my conversion in the sense that I've had the, the guys at Iftawa, you know, Imran, Abbas, Hamza, um, and there's, there's other guys there as well. The, you know, I couldn't imagine, I couldn't have asked for more supportive brothers. So that's not even a road. Yeah, I did that same thing, okay. but I didn't get any sympathy okay. from you. So okay, well. yes. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. So, so for, it's been four years. What, what has been the wackiest things that, that, that kind of you've been approached with or, or you faced? Or? Cool. So uh, I think look, as a, as a reaver, I won't really recommend going to Speaker's Corner because it is a bit of a loony bin. Um, in, in addition to there being beautiful discussions there. Mm. I'll never forget once I had a, had a guy come up, come up to me, a really strange looking fella, and he goes to me, if you ever leave Islam, mate, I can make you a lot of money. Keep in touch. And I was like, what? what? In fact, he put me on the grass with that. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Uh, let me think of some even more wacky things I can tell you. That was probably the, probably the wackiest thing that's happened to me. That's probably the wackiest thing. So who, who was he, Christian or atheist? Or? Um... I don't know to be honest. I don't know. The conversation ended there <laughs> mm. with a bit of a sidestep. Oh damn. Oh damn. Where are you now? I think this is looking good for me now. Yeah? Are you in the lead? You can't be in the lead. Nah, you're not in the lead. How am I not in the lead when you crashed like that? Oh fake. <laughs> it's because of that reason. <laughs> they have to bail you out. I think I've fallen for that corner every lap. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Are you sure we got the same car? <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh no. On, okay, this could be it. This could be it. Let's steal it, Jordan. Steal it. Steal it, Jordan. Steal it. Steal it. Jeez. Ooh. Can you see me? Oh. Uh, see I'm John Cena up in here. That went over your head, doesn't it? Uh, no, I, I know John Cena. I, I know him it. through Modine. Oh, Modine. Modine. Do you not know Modine? No. Is he a comedian? Yeah. Speaker Schooner? Yeah. Oh. All right. So w what else? Okay. So, oh, for flame and Nora's sake. Okay. Can I still win? Uh, can you see me? Oh, damn. <laughs> I must be far ahead. Mashallah. I think I know how to play this now. Yeah? I think I've cracked it. <laughs> yeah, 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 don't try I think get you're in trouble on the way, next yeah? one. I think don't, you're in trouble. Don't try on the get next sympathy one. that way, yeah? In, in these four years, what did you find easy to, to do and what did you find uh, difficult to do? Yeah, good question. So I think easy wise, what was easy about Islam? Um, I mean, the thing, thing is, when you, when you uh, become Muslim, your perspective changes completely. So some things, your pers because your perspective changed, some things you're like, you know, you cut your life straight away, no question. But the, there are still some challenges. I'd say for me, um, the first year, um, and I think the stats show that the first year is always the, diff the, the most difficult for reverts. That was a time when, you know, the little things would, would rock me because uh, your foundations aren't. Have I lost again? I think I've got it now. Yeah, I think I've got it now. This is best out of eight. Yeah, best out of nine. <laughs> best out of twenty-one. <laughs> oh damn! Keep it revving. Keep it revving. Okay. There you go. Can I like? Go on, go on. Bash you into the? No, I can't do that. Okay, great. It's the same track, yeah. Yeah, yeah, same one. Because cool. you said so, you got used to it, isn't it? Yeah, no, no, this is my race now. Okay, get off the grass, get off the grass, get off the grass. I think that advice was for me as well. You're not feeling too confident now, are you? Now you're seeing me in front of you. Uh, what does my dust taste like? Well, it tastes... Um, okay, okay. <laughs> I don't know, because I, you haven't really stayed uh, in front for very long. Oh, oh no! Oh. No! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Jordan, let's stay ahead now. Oh, stay no. ahead of the game. Oh, no. 
<laughs> it's going the wrong way. <laughs> what? <laughs> Can it turn me around or something? <laughs> oh, I'll stop. I'll stop. Do I have to turn myself around? Yeah, I'll stop. I'll stop. <sighs> I'll wait. Can you see me? I was first for like ten seconds. I was buzzing. I can see you now. The only thing is, I don't know how to improve. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Thanks for waiting for me, brother. <laughs> You'll fit in very uh, nice, uh, Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> You're just the kind, uh, just the right kind. So I say about my first year. Yeah. Um, I did. I did Umrah. Um, in after the first year so the EF Dower guys um, arranged an Umrah trip and that was for me that's where I, I think my real Islam was born kind of thing when I came back from there uh, all of a sudden it didn't really matter to me what people thought what was going to happen in my life I was pretty confident comfortable knowing that whatever did happen um, Allah had my back that, that was the feeling when I came up from Umrah it was a very strong feeling mm. and I've, I've kept it till now to be honest what do you what was it about that place that kind of pumped you up like that? Do you know what it was for me? Uh, it, even more so, a Mecca was amazing. When you go to Mecca and you see all the different types of people um, and you see, you know, you're all wearing the, the, the Ikram, so you know, no one knows how rich anyone is. It's, it's a really uh, nothing like it, I don't, think, I don't think there is. So Ikram, for those people that are wondering, are two bits of white cloth, yeah? Yeah. Upper and lower part of the body, so everybody looks the same. Yeah. But you were also saying you had some misconceptions about Saudi uh, before you went. I did, yeah, I did. So I don't think I was the only one, actually. Um, and I didn't want to go because Saudi... So what do we hear about Saudi in the news? Women can't drive, so you think women are completely, like, you know, hidden over there, you know, which can't be further from the truth. I'll tell you about that in a sec. And the other thing is I thought of public beheadings and things like that that's, oh, what you, that's what you think of Saudi so I was thinking if I go over there I don't want to see that in the street mm. I don't want to go over there and see that but obviously it only it took me a couple hours to realise once you're in Medina it's a beautiful place um, and yeah well, the thing about the sisters is they rule the place like is it? they're the ones complaining in all the restaurants oh. they, when they cross the road they literally just put their hands out I remember we were on like one of the top floors in the lifts uh, in the hotel and you're queuing but the sisters can just overtake, overtake like you're going like, to do me now yeah, yeah, yeah. like you just did thanks for that timing <laughs> um, they can just go in the lift you know and it's really it's how, probably how it should be you know but it's mm. like I said it was completely opposite to how I imagined it to be and, and to us Medina if people haven't been there they got to get to Medina um, what did you like about Medina? I can't describe there's something in the air in Medina there's just something peaceful there's just something about it that I can't I can't explain that nowhere else I've been has you know um, I know that's a really poor uh, to be honest but you've I, been right yeah yeah I, I can vibe with you you just feel this sakina this tranquility yeah. that just uh, encompasses you and it is difficult to explain because we're not used to that sort of peace to be honest let's, let's be frank yeah and yeah yeah I can vibe with that so that whole brotherhood going to Saudi, yeah, you're saying that, that was, was cool. the experience? What? That was cool. Were, were there any other kind of experiences you had there that were... Yeah, I think the best, the, the best experience I've had as a Muslim was in, um, you know, Rauda. So in the Prophet's Masjid, uh, you have a, a, a part of it where, where the Sahaba built, um, where the carpet is green, if I remember, rather than red. Yeah, and you pray two rakahs in there, and it's like praying in uh, Jana, they say. So that uh, translates as some of you people might be thinking, "What on a two rakahs like Jana? Yeah, yeah, what yeah. on earth is he banging on about? He's one of those Muslims now, isn't he?" <laughs> so yeah, did that, I win? Uh, come on, let's let's okay, behave. Yeah? Okay. Let's behave. Right. <laughs> do you want to do another? <laughs> let's do it, Carl. Another uh, circuit. Another. Yeah, car? I think I'm not feeling this circuit. Yeah. I think this circuit is not quite for me. So yeah, so that's two units of prayers in yeah. um, a part of the mosque that is said to be a piece from paradise. Yeah. So I remember, yeah, and, you, and you've been right. I know you've been where you um, 
it's like they herd you together and then they they it's like a race because you then suddenly they open a little bit more and you race forward exactly and i hate for me i'm british even now you're taking too much of my personal space <laughs> and, and so everyone's elbowing you and you're like you're like shoveling. and i was in such an angry mood going in all right do i need the same car it didn't really work for me that car is that a good car no that's only that's so you've got the best car, car. yeah well okay. i think so yeah okay so did you say you're the best or <sighs> okay how was it three nil at the moment all right i've cool. lost count cool i'm i'm, yeah. I'm free all night so i mean you're representing the brits quite well i mean yeah. uh, they've only had one victory in the world cup in fact so, you're <laughs> <laughs> so that console in the middle of my screen is that going to stay there the whole time <laughs> Yeah, the next thing you're gonna blame the curry now. <laughs> curry was good. Curry was good under there. Oh, the camera angle. So okay, if I go it. there, no. That's yeah, it. All right. I'll let you go for it. This is nice and scenic. Yeah, I thought you know what. I'm one. feeling this one. I think this is gonna. This has got Jordan M written all over it. This one. Yeah. All, all over it. Yeah. Hang on a minute. Look, we're both on the straight. How comes you're going faster than me? So, you know, sometimes the game knows to like, you know what? He's a champ. You know, the champs, they don't, they don't oh, do what you're I'm doing. Oh, I'm on the get off yeah, the grass. Yeah, they don't do it. They do. Mowing the grass. Yeah, you do, do. All right, all right. Champs Come don't on, do that. <laughs> I know the people, they're like, let him win. What are you doing? I you hope get no one's doing that. I hope no one's doing that. Have a better conversation. <laughs> like, what are you doing? I'm like, nope. I don't want to be that. That's what I was like when I was watching Ali. I was like, oh. <laughs> Let him have a bit, a lap or something. <laughs> Let him have something, for God's sake. No! <laughs> Go earn it, Dave! <laughs> so after the Ro the Ro Rado experience was, I was all angry and everything, but when my forehead hit the, hit the carpet, I, I can't explain it, something happened. It was like, it was like all of my worries came off my back and somebody said, you know what, I've got your back now. Don't matter. Oof. It don't matter what happens. Because I have, you know, you have, as a revert, you have all of these worries in the back of your head that, yeah. on the scale on the scale of things, they're not really important when you think of really what what's at stake. Yeah. You know? And so I think that's when it really, like I say, I felt when I came back from there, I was just, I was also depressed when I came back from Umrah because you come back from somewhere like that. Oh, see you later, mate. Well, was that on purpose? What? All right, I better win now because that's that, that's the ultimate shame, isn't it? When, <laughs> To still lose. <laughs> uh, what was it saying anyway? So when you came back from, so in Roda, you completely changed your perspective. Like, yeah, Allah's got your yeah, back. Yeah, I felt like an arm was put around me, and, and it was kind of like, like I said, you could lose your house, you could lose your car, you can lose your job, you can lose anything, uh, and you'll be fine. Mm. Um, I was I was in a relationship at the time and that you know that was difficult and really she was very actually very understanding it, it really ended for other reasons but um, oh that's good she was understanding yeah she she dropped me at, at the airport um, and oh, for for uh, Saudi and oh, met, wow. met all the brothers and everything but, uh, yeah. it's just everyone's got their own journey at the end of the day yeah everyone has their own obstacles to, to cross the thing is path. yeah when you become muslim you don't become the perfect person overnight you know and, and maybe you never do but you know you know you know where you're going wrong and you have a direction you know um, wow you have a direction wow that's amazing it's like when you go when you're going in the wrong direction in the game <laughs> you honestly you're uh, not going to reach the but, but do you realize i can see you yeah I, yeah I don't know if you uh no but it's true isn't it if you're going the wrong direction you can never hope to reach yeah, the destination that's no, right i thought if, you were digging at my driving no no because if you go in the right direction if you go even yeah. if you're on the grass uh <laughs> even if you're in the hall <laughs> you'll get there one day yeah. yeah so that i think that's 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 remarkable isn't it i think i should write that down i think i should write a book yeah, I think the wisdom that's coming from me uh, is it's just. I think it would be a lovely six-page <laughs> <laughs> with pictures. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's got <quite> pictures. <laughs> Can't stand it because of the pictures. <laughs> it would be ridiculous. You oh, did I lose? Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> I was first for so <laughs> you, 
You were close. Right. Look, it's only by two seconds. Okay, two seconds is a long time when you're going 200 <laughs> miles an hour. <laughs> All right. You think you can take me in this pitch? I do, I do. Uh, this uh, is, I was better than, than this on the last one, wasn't I? Oh, 100%, 100%. I got a good feeling about this one. <laughs> Alright. I do. So I've just got to stay in front, haven't I? Yeah, I think you've got potential. Right? I'm trying to work out why my car is not going as fast as yours. Even when you're oh, knocking, over, knocking over cones and yeah. look. You know the worst thing I would do, you know, is just to knock into you when you're in the lead. I mean, that's just not right. You know, I'm saying some people. But I'd rather that than overtake me. So if you can keep doing that. Yeah. Oh. Oh. You've gone quiet as you shown if you're right over there. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to so, I'm just trying to ram pin, into you. Pin drop. <laughs> oh, is that what it is? Yeah, I'm just it's focusing focus. all that energy <laughs> to ramming into uh, you. But you're just you're just too fast now. You actually uh, what's the word? You actually did 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 dr driving. <laughs> How is that possible? Oh dear, this, I have to win a race, otherwise I'm going to be so annoyed. I'm not going to sleep tonight. <laughs> give me a TikTok video. I'm going to have nightmares. Come on, Jordan, I'll give you a head start and then still lose <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh no, it didn't. Oh, you got restarts on oh. today. It's a shame because I earned that. <laughs> I s smashed you into the side there. <laughs> Still in the lead. Is that allowed? Uh, everything is allowed, brother. Mm. <laughs> everything okay. <laughs> it's okay, brother. Okay, this feels good. Alright, so what about afterwards? Now, now that you've been Muslim four years later, any regrets? Never. I never look back. Really? Yeah, never look back. But all these people and these posts like Mohammed was like this, Muslims believe in this and that. What do you do? Do you go on their websites and you read that stuff and you get doubts on the religion? Good question, actually, because, like I said, I don't, I don't think reverts is a good idea doing what I've done. Turning up at Speaker's Corner, where you're on trial. If you're Muslim, you're on trial, you know? Oh, <laughs> so definitely. It's not like just turn up and they want to learn about your religion. Um, but, yeah, I, I think the thing is for me yeah, is that I've, I've, I believe I've studied Islam enough that even the stuff I don't know, I know there are answers. Mm. I just need to research them. Um, and and I'm, I'm confident of that and I, to be honest you know and you see a lot of the re regurgitated arguments that a lot of these Islamophobes bring um, they're the same ones that were 20 years ago 40 years ago you know so what makes you so confident where's that confidence coming from yeah it's a good it's a good question I mean I think um, I'm really gonna probe you Jordan yeah, I know yeah, I've yeah, seen yeah, your no, era podcast yeah I think I, I really think I need to be probed yeah, I think I need to probe I really want to unpack some of the stuff because it's uh, we don't want to make it seem like it's a like it's an yeah. easy thing you just went umrah and everything just happened and yeah we really want to kind of dig the thing in is there. yeah look, i have no doubt that there is one god that there is allah i have no doubt in this i have no doubt that prophet muhammad peace upon him existed and was the last messenger i have no doubt of these so when when you're presented with hadith that may even to you seem like cool it's I think you're only really going to have real doubts if you're coming from bottom up rather than top down. Does that make mm, sense? Okay. So if your foundations are solid. Wow. Foundations. I, I don't that. believe. I don't believe those things will, will rock you. And look, I do get things that I'll, I'll read a hadith, and I'll think that doesn't quite. Um, but the thing is, you know, we're often reading it with um, out of context, with with our with our sort of 21st century eyes, and you know, did I win that? You did. You didn't let me. Remember, it's haram to lie. You know, Look. your story is really interesting. <laughs> it's a really interesting uh, story. That's it. All right. Rematch. <laughs> okay. Rematch. Proper, yeah? Rematch. Okay. Proper this time. I don't want no sympathy. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it revving. Yeah. yeah. All right. That's, that's very interesting. Did that makes sense. I mean, is it the same for you? To be honest, look, look, Ayera's got that whole thing of go rap. Go rap is is spot on, isn't it? It's, yeah. um, and I use that, you know, when when not even just for Dao, but when anyone's asking questions, you know, don't stay on the little questions of how to leave. Go straight to the, you know. But do you believe in God? But do you believe, you know? Yeah, just for the viewers. Do you believe viewers, in the oneness of God? Just just tell us what go rap is. So God, oneness yeah, of so God. Yeah, it's God, oneness of God, revelation, uh, and prophet. 
wrapped hood, right? Okay. Yeah. So, wrapped. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I think I don't know if it was Shake Green that made it up or Amber Source is one of the big boys. Uh, but it's a fantastic way of if you're giving Dawa, you'll get questions like, "Why do Muslims have beards? Why do you guys do this? Why don't you eat pork?" Mm. And the other day, these aren't the really the important questions, are they? Because a lot of this stuff is because Allah ordained it. Exactly. So if you believe in Allah, then mm. the top-down approach that's excellent. Top down. Because sometimes we're so yeah, I can answer that misconception, but that misconception does that really mean that God stops existing? Yeah. Does that really now mean that the prophet is is not the prophet? Yeah. And do you know what? The first my first year of Islam. I do think when I look back, I spent too much time trying to defend Islam rather than studying Tawheed and uh, Aqidah and stuff, you know, yeah. so uh, that's one of the advice I'd give to people is, you know, I didn't know the categories of Tawheed, I, d I didn't know all of these things. Um, Jordan, what, what, about, what about all these terrorism, I mean, how, <laughs> how, do, you, how do you reconcile that? Like, see, but to be honest, I'm going to be really with you, terrorism yeah. was one of the things that even made me think like, yeah. Flipping heck, like everywhere we're flipping everywhere, mate. Yeah. Like it's always us. Yeah. So what? What kind of reconcile? How are you? Uh, yeah, it's a good question, and that that you know that was in my mind. You know, terrorism and even the grooming gangs and the way these things are reported, you would think that the only thing a terrorist looks like is a brown man with a beard, wouldn't you? Yeah. yeah. But you know, I've, I've looked into it more deeply. You know, to be honest, I wasn't really aware of our foreign policy and what we that what, what the country had oh. done. Damn. To the extent that, that they had, you know. Um, policy, yeah. So why is all this happening? You know, looking at the root causes of why terrorism Ooh. actually happening. And Beautiful root causes, yeah. Mm. For root causes. And it doesn't excuse it. And also, obviously, just looking into Islam about, because I remember the grooming gangs thing. Yeah, I, I was a bit concerned about this what coming into Islam. But when I looked into the teaching of Islam, I remember saying to Hamza, "I'm far less likely to be a groomer now than I ever was." You know. Wow. I can't give a woman alcohol. I can't. You can't touch a non mechram you know. You, you, wow. All, all of these things. Where's the grooming in Islam? Whoa! So, yeah. That in itself, you've just yeah. refuted that whole. You've <laughs> refuted the entire well, that was, EDO. And that, <laughs> that's hard, isn't it? That's Whilst hard, losing hard, in a hard, game of racing yeah. to me. Am I winning or losing? Oh, come on, let's behave here. Ah, the two means I'm second. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, without a doubt. But yeah. I'm on a winning streak at the moment. I'm, I'm on a one match winning streak. So if I it keep be this no going. Doubt. There should be no doubt. Okay. There should be no doubt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, know your place, Jordan. Yeah? Know your place. And that will be second. Okay, how many laps left? Is this the final one? Uh, to be honest, I, I don't even know. I'm just on the grass again. I just thought I have a little, have a little cheeky are. little sunset. Oh, there you are. sunset. Have a little rest. Go on, catch him. Move. Move. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember that program? Catch the pigeon. Catch oh, is that it? That's one all on that course, wasn't it? So we we end as a draw there. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. You're the champ. You're the champ. All right. What what course do you want? You pick. Do you do, do you want to do a rally course? Yeah. This is a rally one. Let's do that. Let's then do we pick a rally course. car. What do you think in terms of lifestyle choices? Because Islam has the answer for cleanliness. Um, do you want to change the camera? Oh yeah. Uh, thanks. I'm still well, leaving. No, uh, no, let's behave, let's behave, let's behave, uh, let's behave, let's behave. Let's behave. Whoa, <laughs> what's <laughs> going on? <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's behave ourselves, yeah. Let's behave ourselves, Oh yeah. my word, have we, have we banned alcohol for our drivers in this <laughs> yeah. game? My one's going all right. Uh, let's behave, yeah, let's behave. Okay, okay Jordan? What on earth is this? <laughs> you, you can't just be pressing accelerate. <laughs> yeah. What's this going game, on? You can't press accelerate. What is he doing? <laughs> You're holding accelerate. Okay, so I take my hand off accelerate. Yeah, yeah, take it off. Just control the car, and then press accelerate where you need it on the straights. I, I, I like that information now. And, um, and just drift it. As my car's completely um, been written off the road. Yeah, no, don't worry. You, you it's already up. cat I'm A. Here. I'm here. I'm here. Okay. So after the corner, you should you should see the great one. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be in. There you go. Oh, oh yes. You didn't ram into me. Too oh. good. Yeah, I'm tempted, but <laughs> Okay, so you're you're not having your finger on the trigger the whole time? No, no, no. Take it. So what other lifestyle, for example, Islam tells you cleanliness, 
Yeah, yeah. Even cleaning yourself in the toilet, how to cut your nails. Yeah, good point. Um, this is something that I think I word it properly, and I because if a non-Muslim watch it, it's just something that yeah. you um, you don't realise how unhygienic you were. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, and I don't mean that in a disrespectful way. It's just yeah. um, you know cleaning yourself properly after the toilet. Seems pretty common sense after you've. Um, but do you know what? It, f for me, yeah. Um, if there was, if there is a creator, um, you would get guidance for everything in life. You know, mm, you would, you would receive that sort. Because of, a lot of people, you know, I've spoken to people and say, oh, it's ridiculous. You know, even knowing what foot to put first in the toilet and things like that. Mm. Bathroom. We don't put our feet in the toilet. He's absolutely right, sir. In terms of lifestyle, I think one thing about my lifestyle, I would say, is it. Is, is how it hasn't changed, you know? Um, other than cutting things out and, you know, prophecy praying five times a day. Yeah. I'm still a geezer. I'm still a, uh, like, that's one thing I try and emphasize to people is that it's not like all of a sudden, you, you know, you can't have a laugh, you can't do this, you, you know, people watching Match of Day and all of that. Yeah. There is a, sometimes a con misconception that when you join Islam, that you must become this serious preacher. Yeah. Which, that which makes you sense. are, yeah? Which I am, yeah. And, yeah. And, uh, so you're a serious pre preacher? I'm, I'm a serious TikTok preacher. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you're still in the lead. It blows my mind, frankly. Am I in the lead? I didn't even realise. I'm just trying to keep the car off from going off the cliff. Yeah. I'm, I'm actually blown away. How you so I'm actually a, 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 a rally car specialist, would you say? Well, uh, I, that's... I think we should do another. Did I win? You, you did. Why am I called player two? You didn't even bother to put Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought, you know what? He's, uh, he's not going to last very good. long. <laughs> all right, all right. Let me. Right, uh, one nil to me. Me to uh, Love the graphics. I sense. I do sense you're a bit angry after the last one. I think you're <laughs> hiding it. I feel like the, the sofa's got tighter and everything's. Really? Clenched up. You're still in the lead, by the way, yeah? Yep. Standard, mate. Standard. I'm a rally driver. Coming for you, Jordan. I'm coming for you. <laughs> uh. Alright, what's, what's the thing that you found really difficult? Really difficult? Um... Oh, I gotta be honest with you. In this climate, yeah, yeah, like I mentioned before, converting to Islam, it just isn't. You know, it's not something you get congratulated mm. from. You know, it's very interesting. And so it is. You know, explain constantly explaining to people that you're Muslim, but it's fine. You know, you're not one of those Muslims. Do you know? Oh what I mean? boy. And it's. Um, but you know, I thought about this um, the other day. I think look, Islam isn't a fashion, but thank God it isn't. You know, because if it was a fashion. You would just get everybody join jumping on board, you know. Yeah. But I do feel that. Why am I going? So, yeah. Am I still winning? Oh, of course. Even though, even though my car flipped upside down. Yeah, yeah. Don't don't rub it in yet. Just just calm it down yet. <laughs> oh, come on! I'm going crazy with my one. I'm letting you catch up, by the way. Yeah, just oh. here you go. Just, I'll slow down a bit. You have to <laughs> slow down, otherwise you're going to lose control. Come on, anyone think you don't want to win this one? Here I come. I can see you. <laughs> right, easy oh does it. yes. Easy does it. Oh, I'm awesome at this. Easy does it. It's like a duck to water, this, isn't it, for me? You know, I've never played a PS5 before in my life. Are you serious? <laughs> it's just come I out. I had a That's PS2. Oh, PS2? Yeah. Oh, damn. This is embarrassing. Oh, I wonder if people are rooting for me or you. I wonder. Of I think course I, they're going to be rooting for you. I they? had the sympathy before, but yeah. now I've won a couple of times. It might be like, oh, but Zeeshan's the, the man. We can't let Jordan think he's too good. No, I'm not. I, I don't know, my guys are 
they, they, they love you. They, if they don't love you by now, I don't know. I don't know what it's gonna take. I'm Muslim. I've changed my frame in life, <laughs> and you still can't root for me. <laughs> All you, you Muslims are the same. I think you're gonna have people saying, "Who was that geezer you had on the other day?" You normally you have those big those, people on. Those, <laughs> normally you have those brownies on. <laughs> Why have you got Polish yeah, pasty on yeah. there? What? Oh, is this the right way? Uh, no! Uh, wait, Who won? Who won? I won! They were so close! Oh! 30 milliseconds! That's still a lot. <laughs> I'd say I'd say I was mashing it. <laughs> I'd you did I it think you well. had no chance there. Oh my gosh, you were... It was, you were pretty much in the lead. Alright guys, hope you guys benefited from this. Uh, experience uh, it was a bit of 50 50 there I hope you guys learned something and I hope you're gonna become Muslims now <laughs> if you don't and we know uh, no we don't know where you live uh, we don't have any information <laughs> like that uh, it's just yeah. Uh, yeah I don't know become Muslim I like, I like that message <laughs> yeah I like that message if in doubt yeah. become Muslim <laughs> <Just> <laughs>